G'day, Darren Green here, Stormwater Officer with NRM North. Uh, up here today at Scottsdale to take a, a look at a great example of water sensitive urban design in action. Uh, now, water sensitive urban design is essentially uh, an approach to urban design and planning that brings new stormwater management practices into action. But mostly, what we're looking at is trying to reduce the amount of stormwater runoff, the amount of water volume. Uh, the speed at which stormwater moves through urban areas in the landscape, uh, trying to stop pollutants getting in, take pollutants out if they do get in, and uh, also in some cases looking to bring in alternative water supply options as well. But uh, sometimes, like we have uh, a, a range of water sensitive urban design treatments that we use, things like wetlands and swales and gross pollutant traps, bioretention systems and sediment basins and things and sometimes they're used by themselves but quite often uh, combined in what we call a treatment train and uh, that's what we're up here to have a look at today. Um, Wayne Williams from Dorset Council is kind enough to join us today to talk us through this project. Uh, Wayne, can you tell us a bit about what was here before and what led Dorset to, to consider this development here? Yes Darren, um, we've been concerned about the uh, reticulated system we've had on a major portion of the uh, Scottsdale catchment. Mm -hmm. um, we've had issues with um, uh, sediment loads entering the natural uh, waterways, uh, litter loads um, and erosion through some open drains that we have uh, through this um, open grassland as you see behind us. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we've done is we've um, taken that existing system and uh, modified it using the uh, water sensitive urban design principles. It's beautiful. Yeah. No worries, well um, let's take a walk through, hey? Go on. Alright, so up here at the first stop, of, first stop on the treatment trains, the gross pollutant trap, can you tell us a little bit about this one, Wayne? Yes, Darren, what we have here is a Nikos old 4600 uh, gross pollutant trap. Uh, its primary purpose is to collect uh, coarse sediments and litter. Uh, this particular unit's been uh, retrofitted to existing stormwater reticulation. Uh, it's the first stage of our treatment train. No worries. Well, let's pop along and have a look at the next stage. Right. So here we are at the second stage in the treatment train, uh, vegetated swale. Um, can you tell us about this one, Wayne? Yes, what happened here is that um, we reshaped the existing drain uh, to the desired shape. Uh, then we lined it with a material called Landlock 300. Yep. Uh, prior to that, uh, we placed grass seed and uh, a thin layer of uh, topsoil. Uh, then placed the Landlock 300 and then allowed the uh, tops, the grasses, to grow up through the Landlock 300 and uh, cement it into place. Yeah, great. Yeah. So the seed planting first and then comes up through the Landlock. That's right. Yeah. yeah cool. Yeah. That is. But generally, overall, it's worked very well. Oh, great, all right, yep. we'll pop along and have a look at the next stop. Yep. Yeah, cool, so we've got the grass swale that runs down through here and into a pond here. What is, what's the pond for, Wayne? Uh, this is an existing pond, Darren, that um, we've incorporated into the treatment train. Um, its primary purpose is to allow the settlement of fine silts mm -hmm. uh, before it continues on to the final stage of uh, treatment and then out into the waterways. Yeah, nice. Yep. Allows a bit of time for some of that finer stuff to settle out, yeah. That's great, yes. Cool, all right, we'll head down to the final stage of treatment then. All right, well, here we are at the tail end of the water sensitive urban design treatment train, uh, the lily pond. So we've got the stormwater running down the hill through a, a final pipe section and into the lily pond here. What is this role of this one? Yeah, as you said, mentioned, Darren, this is a uh, final stage of four stage process. Uh, the lily pond was existing, um, we've just uh, piped the water through here. Uh, it works um, as a wetland, uh, encourages the uptake of nutrients, um, also allows for some ultraviolet disinfection. Um, and this is the final stage before it enters the uh, natural waterway. Yeah, right, yeah. So natural waterway being Tucker's Creek right here behind us. But uh, yeah, beautiful. Fantastic, great job and thanks yeah. for coming out and sharing with us today. No, I appreciate you coming out Darren. We've put quite a bit of work into this and uh, yeah, and it's nice to see it all up and running and it's working quite well. Especially on a beautiful day like today. Especially. No worries. Thanks.